Hi, and welcome back to the madness that is the new Monster High Haunt Couture doll collection reviews. I have Frankie sitting on Draculaura's box because Draculaura is the next we're reviewing because it's Draculaura. I mean, come on. Yeah, let me just, let me, let me take her down. Got this madness. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And today we are going to be taking a look at Haunt Couture Draculaura. Yes, he was the most voted doll, I think so. And guys, if you haven't watched Frankie's, I'm going to link it down below. And yeah, you should watch all these reviews. Yes, thank you. She's a legend, she's an icon, and she is the moment now. Come on. Once again, thank you so much, Mattel, for sending me all these dolls. Chef's kiss. Thank you. But anyways, guys, Draculaura is still not for sale at the moment. But whenever she does go for sale, I will put her links in the bio and in the description. So yeah, just keep Keep a lookout for that or follow me on Instagram. I always post about anything doll related. So do that. Follow me. Support me. Plug. Let me get into this. But first, let me roll my intro. Hello! I just hit an Ariana Grande note. Hi. Okay, guys. So today we're looking at Draculaura. I've said this now three or four times, but you know, we're repetitive on this channel. Anyways, she comes in the same coffin box as the other dolls in the collection. Hers is black as well, but the only difference with hers is she has a bunch of branding of Draculaura-esque things, you know? So you can see there's some hot pink lines and a bunch of Draculaura logos. So we have a new kind of mouth logo. It looks like it's drooling high key. There's bats, there's hearts, there's her skullet right there. Safety pin earrings because, you know, that's her original earring. And the these look like her new shoes that she actually is wearing on this doll, along with a little collar. The boxes are so cute. They're so simple, but so cute. They get the job done. And in the middle, we have another piece of cardboard that kind of feels like it's leather, but it's not. And we have a bat. We have lips with some teeth. Draculaura's logo right there and a heart. And it says MH Haunt Couture in the middle. And the back is just like this. There's not much going on here. You could take pictures behind this though. That I just realized that that's actually really cool. But anyways, guys, let's get her open. I'm actually going to show you how I have to open her because it's kind of hard. So it's a shoebox design, so you just you just gotta shake it. Hi, gay. And once you shake it off, you got Draculaura. So she has a protective little plastic layer like the Barbie collector dolls do. So let me just take that off. And this is great in case you're going to be displaying her like this. No dust will get in. And there's Draculaura. It's probably everyone's favorite. I think they put so much effort into her. Like you could just tell, you really can tell out of the collection, she has the most going on. But look at her, she's so pretty. And her backdrop is pink kind of tufted quilted look and it has some stitching as well. And there's Draculaura in the middle, looking gorgeous as usual. And you can see her stand is hidden on this side. Now, when you first open Draculaura, you're gonna be greeted to this. This is a certificate of authenticity. It says Han Couture. And if you flip it around, it will give you some insight to her diary. And I'm gonna let you pause and read. Her diary is on the lid actually. So it's right here in a little pocket. This is MH and Draculaura's name. This is what her diary looks like. It says Draculaura and this diary belongs to. And her diary says it should be totally forbidden to read someone else's diary even if it was lost. And we'll get into her diary at the end like with Frankie's. So stay tuned. But oh my god guys enough talking. Let's actually get into this doll. Yuck. Okay guys, so she is finally freed from her box. And now guys, we are going to look at everything she came with and then we'll get into the doll because there's a lot going on here. First of all, she comes with a new Monster High stand. It is in a metallic pink coloring on the bottom and the stem is clear. Comes with a matching comb. It's in a metallic pink color as well. She comes with her backpack, her certificate of authenticity and her diary, which we'll look at at the end of the video. Okay guys, this is Draculaura. This is her Haunt Couture look she is serving. You can tell she definitely had the most but into her she's literally everything so we're gonna start from the top and move our way to the bottom so draculaura is wearing this cute little beret it is made of a quite stiff fabric it doesn't feel like felt but it feels kind of similar to it but a thicker version i don't know what that would be called but it's actually really nice and soft it has some black embroidery that says vamp and a little bat is right next to it and it is super cute and there is a black trim with pink dots going all the way around and the little black stem on the top i don't know what this is actually called so if you know what it is, let me know. <laughs> I probably won't be taking off her beret even when I wash her hair because it's pinned in and I don't know how well it's gonna stay on her head without the pin. So um, yeah, <laughs> if we move down to her hair, she has a black and pink curly hair. And just like Frankie, it does have a lot of box hair. So you definitely will need to wash it. And it is a saran, by the way. And it is quite thin, not gonna lie. Compared to Frankie, she definitely does have a bit of thinning in her hair. So that kind of sucks. But it is super curly to leave it like this. It's probably fine, not gonna lie. She has some little curly 
curly bangs at the front as well. There's some pink streaks in it, just like her signature doll. Now, if we move down to the physical doll itself, she has her normal light pale pink skin complexion. She also has really thick brown eyebrows. You can see the little individual hairs. For her eyeshadow, it's a very pale pink palette. We have very light pinks going from the lid all the way up to the brow bone, and there is some glitter you can kind of see. Her signature heart is not colored in. It is just a pink outline. She has really pretty purple eyes, and as I said in Frankie's review, they do look more lifelike and vibrant compared to the original. And since I don't have an original Draculaura, anyways, if you guys want to send me her, my PO box is below. <laughs> um, you can see the difference in the eyes. They're more purple on the new doll. This one is more of like a grayish purple. She has the same head mold as the original Draculaura. It's just different paint. And for her lips, she has a deep red lipstick with her little thing showing. I really love her face. I think she has the best face so far out of these three dolls because, I mean, look at it. Iconic. And for her earrings, instead of the little small safety pins she had in her basic doll, she has these ginormous metallic pink ones that have little heart posts as well. And now if we move it down to her actual outfit, um, there's a lot going on. So she has a cape. She was displayed with her arms open in the box like this so you can see under it. So under it is this pink satin material that has black lines to look like spider webs. And if you turn it around, it's black pink glitter specks all around and it is like actual glitter. You can feel it. It is a lined piece by the way too. It's two pieces of fabric together. It's actually like really nice. And similar to Collector Drac, it does connect right here at the wrist and it ties right there at the neck. I will be taking it off to show you guys. As if her neck didn't have enough going on, she has a metallic necklace and it looks very similar to one of her original necklaces. It has a bat in the middle and a bunch of ornate little lines going through it. And my camera does not want to pick up on it, but it's really detailed, trust me. If we move down to her shirt, it is a white blouse. It has puffy white sleeves and on each cuff, there's a black ribbon trim with, with the pink dots, just like her beret. And there's also some black mesh on her sleeve along with some white lace on the cuff. And this is a separate piece from the dress. The dress has a satin pink material for the top. It does have a lower bust line. So if you just wore it as a dress, she'd be, you know, titties out. And on the bottom, as you can see, we have one layer that is this very clear chiffon. It's white and has a black spider web designs all over and the spider webs are glittery and you can actually feel them. So it seems like it's been applied. And then under it, we have the hot pink satin skirt again. And she has a black lace trim on the bottom. We can't forget her belt. So she has a black belt with a heart with bat wings in the middle. And on each side, there are five little hearts that are dangling. If you remove the rubber band, they will be loose. So uh, aware of that. And under it, we have some black fishnets that don't go all the way down. And as you can see, there is a little border again with that black ribbon with pink dots and a lace trim. And now we're moving on to her shoes. Um, her shoes are so cute and they very much remind me of her collector doll. I think they're literally so close to what those look like originally. So they're a hot pink coloring and they're an ankle boot. There are some straps going throughout it with some black buckle detailing. The sole is black and she is standing on a bat that looks like almost kind of like a unicorn horn, but um, yeah. I kind of do wish there was a little more paint added to them because I feel like the front's a little plain. So maybe like a different pink would have looked cute. I don't know. Okay guys, so now that we've pretty much got a good overview of her, I'm going to go disrobe her so we can see what her body looks like. And I'm very curious to know if she's smaller than the original body mold because in the pictures, I've noticed she's a little smaller than the other ghouls. And I can't tell if it's because of shoes or if I'm just like looking at it wrong. So let me go take her clothes off. So I got her all naked and I was correct. This Draculaura is on a smaller body. It's the slightest difference though. So as I mentioned, she is on a smaller body. As you can see, it's the slightest height difference ever, but it is a difference and they are at the same level. I took them all down to their bare plastic. <laughs> and something I also forgot to mention while I was at the hair part is this doll is glue free. So she is boil wash safe if you really want to. And honestly, I might just have to. I'm going to probably give her a lot of curls. So yeah, <laughs> here's a better look at Dracula's cape. This is the inside of it and this is the outside of it. And it just ties with this ribbon. Here is a look at her dress and that's how it velcros. Here's a look at her cute little shirt. It is super cute. Love. Here are her tights her shoes. This is what her belt looks like. As you can see, the little things move once you take it off. Here's what one of her earrings looks like, super duper up close. And here's a better look at that necklace. I did not know it was a choker and a necklace at the same time. So the top actually has a black heart that's painted and some black studs as well. And guys, while we're looking at all of her accessories, let's look at her bag. So she actually has a faux leather bag. It is a light pink color. The front has a design of a heart in the middle of a web, and it looks like it's dripping. The bag also has that faux zipper track and it does open with some Velcro, so you could put some things in there. It just closes like that. The straps are pink ribbons and there's a 
little handle you can hold too that's made of a pink ribbon and the tiniest little zipper ever the bag is 100 percent better than frankie i have no complaints with this bag this is super cute and i love it it's so cute okay it's diary time so just like in frankie's review i'm gonna have you guys pause and read so let's get started And that is her diary. But anyways, guys, I am going to go put Draculaura back into her outfit and we shall end this review. Okay, guys, and that is Draculaura. I actually did take off her little cape so we could see what she looks like without it on. And that's how I'm just going to end the video too. <laughs> but yeah, guys, that is Draculaura. I love this doll with a passion. She will be $75 whenever she drops. I don't have a date for you guys and Mattel Creations and Monster High have not released it either. So I'm thinking whenever. So sorry, no help there, but um, probably soon. When she is out, I will link it in the description and you could keep an eye out on my Instagram or my community tab or et cetera, et cetera. But guys, I think she's really, pretty and as i said in frankie's review the 80 dollars price tag um, is a little much i think 60 to 40 would be good for her but you know it's already been done so let me know in the comments if you guys are going to be getting her whenever she drops i feel like she's going to be a very popular one because you know it's draculaura <laughs> i definitely will be wanting another one so i could have it for my inbox collection but yeah guys if you're new to my channel hi my name is jay and i do doll stuff duh and i would love you guys to subscribe and join the channel and you can keep up to date with anything new monster high related because i'm going to be covering it all pretty much if you aren't following me on instagram or on tiktok it's at that zombie x court as well and guys i will see you in the next review which is claudine so see you then bye